Hi, let us understand how to use Kaneko Build with Google Cloud Build platform. Let's get into the examples. In the earlier lecture, we learned about Kaneko and how to make use of it within Minikube container so that how the container will get started and uh, the Docker file will be used to create the image. I'll be getting into a folder gcb kaniko Here, I do have the scaffold.yaml file. As we did in the earlier demo, we will be creating the file kaniko secret and kaniko secret.json from the JSON file that we downloaded from the service account created within Google Cloud application. And we need to set the environment variable Google application credentials pointing to the location where the JSON file is available. And I can get into the scaffold.yaml file. Here I have mentioned the Google Cloud build to be used and the project ID to be used for this particular build. As a part of the image, I have provided Kaniko so that Kaniko container will be used to build the image. Now let me go ahead and execute the Kaniko. Before that, I am going to delete the images within Google Cloud Platform. I'll be getting into the repository, select the image, say delete. So that once again, the build will happen through Cloud Build. As a part of the Cloud Build dashboard, I can check the history when the last build happened. Last build happened at this particular time. Now let me go ahead and execute the scaffold dev and I will be pointing the repository to the repository created within Google Cloud Platform. The image was not found. The entire source code would be packed and it will be made available within the bucket in Google Cloud Platform. Now I can check any build happening? Yes, there is a build got triggered and I can check the log. This will be getting the Kaniko executor and the Kaniko executor will be used as the container to do the build. So here's where the build started and it pulled the image Kaniko executor and using the image, a container will get created and that specific container will be used to do the build of our image and the image will be pushed into the repository. Once the image is pushed into the repository, the image will be read and it will be deployed as a part of artifacts within our Minikube cluster and the application will be up and running. The same process will continue when I'm making the code change. Let me try making the code change. Generally during the development, we will not be using the VA editor to edit the code change. We will be having some IDE like Visual Studio Code or IntelliJ. In that scenario as well, the code change will be recognized by scaffold and automatically the entire life cycle will happen. We will be having a separate demo on how to use with an IDE as well later. The code change is done and that will be recognized. Again, another build process would be triggered as a part of the cloud build history, we can check one another build process getting triggered. Yes, another build process got triggered. Depending on the duration, the charges would be applicable. So please do monitor the billing page on how much getting charged for the resources like cloud build or the cloud artifacts. So the build happened and the image was made available as a part of the artifacts and the image was read and the pod got deployed into the cluster. So this is a quick summary on how to offload the work of building the image into the Google Cloud Platform using Cloud Build.